It's not so much what he knew when. It's why Winnipeg Jets general manager didn't act on information about a sexual harassment complaint when he worked in Chicago. I am sorry that my own assumptions about that system were clearly not good enough. Shovel Dayoff was assistant GM in Chicago in 2010 when the Blackhawks won the Stanley Cup. Last week, the team admitted management ignored a complaint from player Kyle Beach against video coach Brad Aldrich to concentrate on winning the cup. My assumption was that, that, that we were dealing with the harassment. Shovel Dayoff says in his position, he didn't really know Beach. Despite the fact Aldrich kept working, it wasn't clear to him management had intacted. I was never, you know, close with Aldrich. It wasn't someone that uh, I associated with. Ten years. Now the hockey world is listening to Beach, who went public last week. And it's destroyed me from the inside out. Anybody with any sense of humanity is sh- has been shaken. Winnipeg Jets co-owner Mark Chipman is the first owner to really speak out about it, acknowledging the anger of fans across the league. Regaining or, or, or gaining public trust. Um, I don't know that anything we're going to say to you today is going to necessarily um, do that. Beach is suing Chicago. Today, his lawyer met with the team. For all the apologies, she says she has yet to hear anyone take responsibility. But if it doesn't stop or start with recognition of what actually happened, if you're still in denial, you can't make any change. Chipman says the goal is a Stanley Cup, but... It'll never, ever, 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 ever be at the expense of, of, a, of a human being. Chipman says the Jets will work with outside experts, including Sheldon Kennedy, who after 25 years of teaching against abuse in hockey and dozens of other sports, says the NHL has never reached out to him. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.